Hi everyone, my name's Angie. You can find me over at Tawari Yoga and today I'm going to be taking you through a flow that is gonna help with flexibility and mobility. So just start in a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Imagine like something's pulling you up from the crown of the head and rooting you down into the earth. And then just place the hands on top of your body, one hand on the chest and one hand on the lower belly. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Take your mind fully inward. I want you to really focus on deepening that breath, bringing it into the lower rib cage, into the depths of the belly. Feel how the breath moves through the body. Just allow yourself to connect inward. Let go of anything that happened earlier in your day or earlier in your week. This is the time to just focus on yourself. Bring the hands down, place the hands on top of the knees. We're gonna inhale, pull the chest through, lift the chin up towards the sky. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring the elbows out to the side, create a rounding of the upper back and gaze towards the navel. Breathing in, open chest. And exhale, doming the back, elbows out to the side, gaze towards the navel. Keep going like that, synchronizing the breath with the movement. Really feel getting into every part of your body. If you've been at a desk all day, this is a really good one to do. Really good for improving your posture. Exhale, elbows out to the side, dome the upper back. And then relax, come back into your cross-legged position, hands resting on your knees, palms facing up to the ceiling. And you're just gonna start walking the hands in front of you. Coming onto the tips of the fingers to feel a nice stretch into the forearm and into the upper armpit. And making sure you're pressing your hips back towards your heels. So make sure your glutes aren't lifting. Deep diaphragmatic breathing into the lower belly. Which each breath that you take, trying to relax further down. Inhale to come up. Exhale, see if you can ripple the body further forward. And then when you're ready, slowly fingertips, walk all the way back towards your body. We're gonna bring your right hand down towards the ground, bring the left arm up and over the head. Draw that left shoulder back. Get a nice side stretch and you can use your hand if you want to, to just press into the torso so you're really feeling the stretch and really making sure that the Shoulder and the side of the body aren't coming too forward and you're opening, lifting the heart through. Keep breathing here. And then gaze towards the front of the room. Bring the hand down, opposite side. Sweep the arm up. Draw the shoulder back. And then option to press the opposite hand into the torso, just making sure the hips are grounding down. Heart pulls through, gazes either to the front of the room, to the side or up towards the sky. Try and stay soft with your breath. And then head turns to face the front of the room and slowly draw the arms all the way back. You're gonna just take some shoulder rolls, try and exaggerate the movement, get into every part of the body and then move the opposite direction. Bring those shoulders to the front. From here, you're gonna just uncross the legs. Try and get a bit of a wider stance. Hands can come back onto the knees. And we're gonna do that same movement we just did. So exhaling elbows draw out to the side and inhaling elbows in, chin lifts up. Just coming back into, this is basically our cat cow pose, but we're just doing it in a cross-legged position. And then make your way into central position. And from there, cross one leg on top of the other. Knees try and track in line. Heels are out to the side. Gomakasan, whichever leg you have on top, you're going to cross that same arm on top of the opposite arm. And you're going to draw the elbows away from you and up. Lift the chin slightly up. Feel a pull through the back of the shoulder blades. Nice deep breath, deep diaphragmatic breathing here. Rooting down into the earth. 
and then when you're ready, exhale, unravel the arms. And we're gonna do a funky transition by placing the hands down and just walking the hands all the way around, let the feet sl swivel around, and then you're gonna get back to the front and what you'll notice is that the opposite leg is now on top. Same again on this side. Whichever leg is on top, you're gonna to bring that arm on top, cross it over one time, maybe double bind, lift the elbows away from you, feel that pull through the back of the shoulder blades. Activating Uddiyana Bandha, so pulling your navel up and in and rooting down into the lower body. Keep the breath nice and steady, maybe close the eyes, delve into that inner awareness a little bit more if you can. Take a deep breath in here. And then exhale, unravel, bring the arms out to the side. And you're gonna make your way down onto the long part of your mat. So just readjust yourself if you need to. Extend the legs out in front of you. And then you're gonna start placing the heels one at a time down to the ground. So we're slightly leaning the back towards the back of the mat. And this is a really good core exercise, waking up the core. So you squeeze your navel up and in. To make it a little bit trickier, you can place the hands on top of your chest and really lengthen through the backs of the legs as you place the heel just to touch on the ground. Keep that little bend in the knees. Keep breathing here. You're doing really well. And then we come into Navasana boat pose. You've got the option, as you can see, I'm placing the hands underneath the crease of the knee. You want to keep the chest open. If you can take it a step further, you maybe want to extend the arms either side of the legs. You may want to straighten one leg at a time and have both legs straight. Try not to let that curve your spine. And then slowly lower into other Navasana low boat. Back up. Low boat and come back up. And then you can relax the feet down. Placing the hands just behind your lower back. Feet are hip width apart and just sway the legs from side to side. Just get a nice stretch into the hip flexors. Loosen out any tightness. And if you hear any clicks and pops, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry if you do. Very normal. Really swaying into it. And come back into centre. Shuffle your way onto your knees. And come to the long side of the mat. We're going to keep one knee on the ground and place the opposite leg out to the side. Really press the side, that outer edge of the foot into the ground. And feeling a stretch into that inner thigh and into the inner leg. Now, I've come down on my forearms, but you can, if you want to, stay up on the palms of your hands. You can bring some gentle movement, swaying forwards and backwards in this pose. Just to get into the stretch a little bit deeper. And whenever you feel like you've had enough and you need to come out, come back onto your palms. Bring that knee back in. We're going to make our way into frog pose. This is really, really good for flexibility. You're opening up your hip flexors, your inner thighs, getting a stretch in the calves, the glutes. So the knees wanna be in line with the heels, which wanna be in line with the feet. You've got a really nice wide stance. And again, palms or forearms can come to the ground. Shuffle the weight forwards and backwards if you wanna take some movement. Play around, see what works best for you. You should really feel this in the inner thighs. Good, slowly come back onto the palms. Stay here for one more deep breath in. And exhale, draw the knees back in together. Really good, we're gonna go with the other side. So stretch the other leg out, really pressing into the outer edge of that foot. Come down onto your forearms if you would like, otherwise staying up on the palms, bringing some gentle movement. Forwards and backwards with the sways, you should feel that into the inner thigh and keep breathing. Make sure that foot isn't lifting off the ground, really pressing it down, pressing into the big toe mound, into the outer edge of the foot. And then slowly inhale, come back onto the palms. Exhale, return the knees to come together. So from here, we're coming into Upavishta Konasan, wide legs, and you can bring a bolster in if you have one, place the bolster, in between the two legs. Now the feet wanna be really active here, toes point up towards the ceiling. 
and we can just start making our way down. This is a really nice restorative version of the pose. Just sink the head down, relax the arms, shoulders are released and melting away from the ears. Just slow down your breath. If you feel you can get a bit further down, you can start moving the bolster further away from you. If you don't have a bolster, that's okay. You could use a block, you could use a book. And you really wanna focus on stretching up and lengthening on every inhale and on every exhale that you take, you're working on drawing the body forward, stretching the arms to the front of the room, keeping those feet flexed, maybe swaying from left to right. Make sure those feet aren't diving inwards. And whenever you feel you need to come out of this, you can slowly make your way back. Again, really, really good for getting a stretch through the backs of the legs into the spine, elongating the spine and really just increasing our overall flexibility, which is the purpose of this practice today. Again, staying with your breath and feel free to readjust the bolster whenever you need to until you feel comfortable. I'm just gonna rest here for a little bit longer. Keeping those feet flexed up towards the sky. And whenever you feel ready, slowly make your way back up. Remove the bolster, the block, the brick, whatever you had. Draw the knees in towards one another and then wrap your arms round your knees. Drop the forehead down. Squeeze yourself in, give yourself a nice big hug. And then inhale to bring yourself back up and start to make your way all the way down to lying flat on your back. Feet come the same distance as the mat. Arms come a little away from the body, turn the palms to face up towards the sky. Any last wriggles and shakes that you wanna take, you're more than welcome to do so now. Maybe moving the head from left to right, bringing any gentle wriggles into your fingers and your toes. And then when you're ready to come into complete stillness, just staying here, for your Shavasan, final posture of the practice. Slowly start to bring some gentle movements into the legs, into the fingers, wrists. The head turns left and right and keep the eyes closed. Draw the feet closer towards your glutes. Stretch the arms up above the head. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. You're gonna come into your happy baby pose, grabbing hold of your big toes if you can, otherwise the shins or the heels, and then rolling from left to right, giving the lower spine a nice massage, really pressing and imprinting the lower spine onto the earth. And then start to slow down that swaying movement and straighten the legs as much as you can, grab hold of the big toes, and then slowly release, draw the knees back in. And start to circle the legs out to the side. So one hand is on one knee, the other hand is on the other knee, and you're just circling them outwards and then inwards. And then slowly roll from left to right. Try and keep the eyes closed this whole time. 
make your way onto whichever side of the mat you prefer, just like you're turning over onto your favorite side to go to sleep. And we're gonna use this as a place to reset, deepen that breath even further. And whenever you feel ready, really make sure you take your time here, there's no rush. You're slowly going to start making your way up to a seated position. Practicing Pratyahara with the eyes closed, sense withdrawal. And then bring the hands into Anjali Mudra, prayer position at the center of your chest. We'll close with an Om, take an inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti. Shandhi. Place the hands on top of the chest. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Thank you so much for joining me. When you're ready, blink the eyes open. Welcome back to the room. <laughs>